Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stan Lee did. I hope no one is offended by the last video I've made recently. It's just I've gone through plenty and I just hope that I'm providing for my creations and such. For this particular video, I'll introduce one creature, one hero, and one human-level individual, if that makes sense. And if you guys bear with me, I'll read these data sheets, and I'll explain them to you, and I hope it's satisfactory on your guys' behalf. Here's the first one. Ultradon. Real name, inapplicable. Length, 350 feet. Weight, 75,000 tons. Status, villain, in creations of Dr. Scream. Base, default Earth, mobile. Intelligence, three brains. Behavior, savage and relentless. They always enjoy surprising their targets. Lethality, only when craving or during a fight. Weaknesses, being rivaled. Explosions and electricity. Powers. They possess all shark-based powers, along with a huge size and high agility. They are also very hard to kill. Eyes, deep black. Hair, none. Origin. After examining the Megadons, native to the Alpha Earth, Dr. Scream decided to create her own variation of giant sharks. After a time of progress, she finally created entire swarms of 350 foot long sharks of all variations. After being commanded to destroy the city of Sydney, the Ultradons were eventually defeated when Ice Asa, the frozen counterpart of the heroic Colossa, came by and froze the Horde in a matter of minutes. Outraged of this, Dr. Scream chose to resurrect the Hordes for future plans. Costume? None. Teams? Solitary? For Dr. Scream and other creatures. Original inspiration? The Mega Shark. This next character is uh, one that's affiliated with the Alpha Gods. Just bear with me. Valentina. Real name? Valentina Love. Height? 5 feet 6.5 inches. Weight? 152 pounds. Status hero, goddess of love and archery. Base, Asgolympius mobile. Intelligence, two and a half brains. Behavior, witty, cheerful, and optimistic. She'll do anything to end all forms of hatred and prejudice. She never gets angry. Lethality, she's better at spreading love rather than hatred. Weaknesses, hatred, and betrayal. Powers. She possesses a metallic bow with euphoria arrows, which can make any target become overly optimistic. She also has a pair of bird wings, immortality, uncanny targeting, and later received from goddess a quiver that never empties. Eyes, vivid green. Hair, bright pink. Origin. Due to her inhuman beauty, the Priantrum Nonsiculus once rewarded Aphrodite with a child of her own, and when her daughter was born, she had a pair of wings, and Aphrodite decided to name her daughter Valentina. By her adolescence, Valentina was gifted with uncanny accuracy and a severe intolerance to hatred and anarchy. Soon, she helped the Universal Champions win a long fight against the notorious Queens of Chaos by simply fusing them with overpowering joy with the, her um, Euphoria arrows. Happy of her first victory, Valentina was rewarded by Goddess with a special quiver that never empties and was marked as the Eternal Goddess of Love and Archery. Costume she wears a white robe with lavender outlines. 
Teams, Solitary with the Alpha Gods and other heroes. Original Inspiration, Eros and Cupid. This is the last character I'm going to introduce for this video, and I hope you guys could bear with me and such. Walter Lawman. Real name, inapplicable. Height, 6 feet, half an inch. Weight, 163 pounds. Status, human. An expert lawyer and bar fighter. Base, Alpha Earth, mobile. Intelligence, 3.5 brains. Behavior. Willful, moody, and dedicated. She's willing to end all conflict. Lethality, as above, despite being human. Weaknesses, alcoholism, and rejection. Powers, she's an uncanny fighter, has an iron will, and uncanny reasoning skills. A single punch from her is enough to knock out Quantum for weeks. Eyes, sky blue. Hair, hazelish black and wavy. Origin. Two months before giving birth, Mr. and Mrs. Lawman were jumped by a ruthless criminal who shot Mr. Lawman in the head, killing him. But before she got harmed, Mrs. Lawman was saved by a passing vigilante named Walter who risked his life to stop the criminal in his tracks. Astonished of this, Mrs. Lawman promised to her hero's grave to name her unborn child Walter. But when her child turned out to be a girl, she still kept her promise. Growing up, Walter Lawman was frequently bullied for her unique name, and by adulthood decided to become a lawyer, though she also ended up with a beer addiction due to severe amounts of stress in her daily life. Costume She dresses in semi-formal clothes, Teams, solitary, or with other heroes. Original inspiration, lawyers, and DC's Bibbo. Well, I, those are the three characters and such. I hope you guys appreciated it, and uh, I hope you guys still have some form of hope and empathy on behalf of this podcast. Because imagine... Like countless species native to infinite realities, relying on you to make sure that they exist at all. That's the thing that I have to do for them, to so make sure that they're not a waste of data. Like, I want them to thrive. I don't want them to feel like they didn't belong, which that goes without saying. They do. I want to make sure that they don't cease to exist. And, um, I just, and that's also part of the reason why, of all the characters, I all treat them equally. I never picked favorites truly, because I want to be fair. And, um, hope you guys have a fine 4th of July, and, and just so you know, uh, my birthday is going to come by sometime next month on the 26th. So, just to let you guys know... And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, and comment down below. It's your choice, nothing more. I don't want to be, like, desperate about it, but at the same time, I would like the best of intentions and such. So I hope you guys understand, and so forth. Um, and until next time, I'm Leviathan. Hope you guys have a fine rest of June and such. And until next time, in transmission.